Here's a quick follow-up to the manly flashlight I showed in the last video. I ordered a 100 watt LED and a reflector and lens kit. Surprisingly cheap parts these, especially when compared to a complete replacement of all 16 Cree LEDs and optics. Not sure about the quality of these LEDs, but all I ask for are a lot of lumens basically. And with generous heat sinking in there already, I'm not concerned about longevity either. Also got a lithium polymer battery from the RC hobby department. 11.1 volt, 5300 milliamp hours, makes about half an hour of runtime at full power. And finally a purpose in the life of this battery charger and balancer that I've been keeping around for ages. Only I didn't have the right XT60 adapter for this battery. Originally I wanted to modify this step-up converter to give it a constant current mode, but that would have needed a 0.33 ohm resistor as a current shunt. And even though I do have a sophisticated collection of resistors in all sizes, shapes and colors, I did not find one. So this abomination was born. Didn't work though, what a surprise. Rummaging around in my treasury, I found some interesting parts. Like these LT1071s, $10 ICs that can be configured as step-up constant current sources. But we'd only reach 50 watts with those. Some vintage current shunt resistors. An LED cooler with a membrane fan, go figure. PID learning kit, strange pneumatic stuff, petite mains filter, old opto interrupter that cost over a thousand Deutsche Mark back in the day, a specially stable voltage reference in a thermos bottle. and a military aircraft potentiometer. A piece of art if there ever was one. And last but not least, a high power LED driver. <laughs> what a coincidence, eh? The output goes up to 65 volts, 3 amps or 100 watts. Perfect for this project. And there's also external PWM dimming, so I can use the old intensity switch on the lamp. I applied a small heatsink because the LED driver claims to be very efficient. And time for an acceptance trial. Keith Lee is showing the volts and Fluke is showing the amps, where 10 microvolts equal 1 amp. And as you can see with this setup we get approximately 65 watts at 100% PWM duty cycle. Again, the rather low battery voltage is the limiting factor.
With the big power supply set to about 20 volts, we get over 100 watts easily. I didn't find higher voltage LiPo batteries that would fit in the lamp and I doubt that I can pull these amounts of current from 18650 cells. So 65 watts will have to do for now. I also checked and memorized some PWM duty cycles that I'm going to use for the three level intensity switch later. gonna program everything into the easiest Arduino sketch ever. Programming it all on an Arduino Pro Mini. Yeah, I'm already feeling really professional. Some more assembly. A lot of soldering. And all done. Order has been restored. Finally some obligatory night shots and good night. See you around.